Getting into the details of an artist's process is one way to connect more deeply with art. For artist Stephen Slasky, an understanding and love of buildings is evident in his drawings of locations around Milwaukee and Chicago. But it's his interest in live music that has greatly inspired his latest collection of watercolor and pen and ink drawings. Enjoy this segment from our friends at Milwaukee PBS. To me, it's always been almost a, a compulsion to draw. I feel like I'm primarily an observer, then I capture what I see in my own, my own style. My name is Steve Slasky, and I'm an artist. I mean, it seems like I've, I've been drawing pretty much my whole life. I'd say I started out just drawing everything around me, but, but I developed a particular interest in architecture. Visually, just the excitement of the man-made environment that we created. I have a degree in architecture from the University of Wisconsin. So, I mean, I, I always, I had that, I thought architecture was a way of combining my interests in, in, in buildings and in drawing. I started out being very interested in a lot of the historic buildings in, in Milwaukee. I had done the Miller House and the J, Judge Jason Downer House on the corner of Prospect and Juno. Because I was just inspired by the history of those buildings. The excitement of what we've created, the man-made created, contrasted with the natural environment. And I think also a part of my work has been the contrast of the, of the new with the old. The, uh, the historic architecture with modern architecture that I find very exciting. What you're seeing in the piece is 23 drawings from what has become over 300 drawings that I've done in concert settings. Some of the earliest ones were at St. John's Cathedral in Milwaukee. So the title of this piece is Drawing Music and it, in various places, mainly the Chicago Cultural Center, where I go almost weekly to, to draw in that setting. It's a beautiful setting in the old Chicago Public Library. I like the combination of drawing during a concert letting the music flow as part of the drawing. I've found through this process that, that the music really does feed my, my artistic output. Most of these drawings, I give myself the time of the concert, which is less than an hour, to complete one of these drawings. You're capturing the artist, the environment, you, you're surrounded by the music, you feel the energy from the artist, you're there among the people listening. It's the entire experience. I generally start with the musicians. I am so taken with that space that I've drawn it from every angle now. But I've always done this uh, as part of my travels too. I've always been inspired by the, by what's around me. And when I travel, I always find you know exciting new places to be. These drawings that I do there, it captures a moment in time that I find really exciting. I like to draw when I travel and capturing different cities and their skylines. It just seemed like a natural thing for me to do. Of the skylines, I did one of the uh, Chrysler Building in New York, which was exciting to me because it was a combination of an actual scene and creating a piece using a model I had built of the Empire State Building as a vantage point for this drawing. I started out doing my, doing my drawings and adding color to those drawings. Over time, you know, the color got bolder. I started doing just paintings in color, getting away from the line. But I always end up going back to drawing, which I feel like is, is so, such an intrinsic part of my work. The mural behind me is actually funny because it's, it's the back of the band shell in Millennium Park, which throughout the summer season in Chicago, there's free concerts there all summer long. The idea be behind these murals was to depict different Chicago neighborhoods, particular scenes of Chicago, Chicago architecture. One of my favorite exhibitions that I've done is uh, a show of portraits drawn from life, from live sittings, taking this thing we've talked about with buildings and applying that to the dynamic drawing another person 
and capturing them in a drawing that was done directly in ink, not sketching it out first in a limited time period. That was very exciting to me. Drawing is so important to all aspects of art. You might not see things as drawing based, but you know, you have to be able to draw to communicate your ideas, put it out there and be okay with it. Just letting line and color flow. Believe in what you do.